Sometimes you just get lucky. During the interview with Dean Cynthia Young at Clemson University, we were looking for some students sitting around or, or people walking to just get some what we call B-roll, just to show in the background during the interview. So we approached one of the students nearby. When she stood up, she was wearing a sweatshirt that said GSSM, completely by chance, what serendipity. Her name is Gracie Dellinger. So we asked her to come on in and answer a few questions. Let's see what she had to say. Gracie, it was, it was really neat running into you. It was completely by accident. We were here to interview the Dean of the College of Science at Clemson. Uh, where are you from originally, and uh, what year did you graduate from the Governor's School? So I was born in Charleston, South Carolina, but I grew up mostly in Pickens. So I transferred from Pickens High School to the Governor's School, and I graduated in 2020. So Gracie, how did your experience at the Governor's School help prepare you for study at Clemson? So one of the fantastic things about the Governor's School is that since most of the professors have PhDs, you get access to like an incredible amount of information that goes far beyond what you would expect to learn in a traditional high school course. And my memory always goes back to Dr. Bouvina's AP Biology class because I am still learning things in my upper level courses at Genetics today that I learned from Dr. Bouvina. So like the lab equipment that you get to use, the summer research, all of those things set you up for success when you go off to college, and especially like I started Clemson with over 40 credit hours of college credits, so all of those things from the Governor's School just set me up for success. Once I got to college, it was an easier transition as well because I was already used to that course load. So Gracie, at Clemson, has there been any surprises or anything that might have been a little difficult that you weren't expecting? Yeah, um, so my freshman year, I actually stayed online for the entire freshman year. I did all my classes online from home because of COVID, and I had a really difficult time like transitioning, especially into courses like organic chemistry and things like that. Taking that online was incredibly difficult. And so I kind of had to get used to the fact that like you can't always get A's, you can't always be the best, you know. But it was a nice lesson to learn that it's okay to, you know, not do as well as you think you're going to do, that you're still, I mean, even now, like, I'm doing research, I'm getting accepted into really good programs, so those little small failures, they don't mean everything. You know, you're still going to be okay once you get over it and get through it. So Gracie, what do you plan on doing now uh, at college and then afterwards in your career? So I'm a member of the Clemson Honors College. Um, so I'm planning on doing a departmental honors research project through EPIC, uh, the Eukaryotic Pathogens Innovation Center. So I'm working with my mentor, Dr. Paul. We're going to design a project. I'm going to actually write a thesis on it and present it to the Honors College. So it kind of is like a mini dissertation style. Um, but once I graduate from Clemson, I plan to attend graduate school to get a PhD in molecular genetics and do more research um, specifically into things like infectious disease work and parasitology. So Gracie, one last question. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you had the experience at the Governor's School and then you've been at, at Clemson. If you could give advice out there to students at any high school who were thinking about studying uh, in the STEM fields or STEM careers, what would that be? So going back to what I said earlier, one of my biggest pieces of advice is, you know, don't let your grades define you. Don't focus, I mean, it's important to focus entirely on school, but also, you know, one of the great parts of going to GSSM is that you get to balance fun experiences and the residential side of it with the rigorous academic courses. So it's important to enjoy and have fun, but also to focus on your coursework as well and not to let, you know, minute failures here and there bring you down. Because at the end of the day, as long as you're putting in that effort and that hard work, you're still going to do well.